To draw act one to a close is a gentleman who is just way too cool for Twitter. You won't find his Twitter handle on the, on the program. He is the author of eight books, a horse trainer, a dog trainer, and a rancher in the Sundry area, and he is a true cowboy poet. Please welcome Ron Gale. Howdy. This is a true story of my happening when I was a kid, just 13 years old, working at a logging camp west of Turner Valley. In the, and it was written about that time, roping a moose. At a logging camp on the Highwood Range where I worked as a kid there, I tried to arrange my thoughts on logging and cowboying and such while working at cowboying and keeping in touch with the, co <coughs> with the cowboying aspect as using my rope on anything moving with ever a hope of catching a critter, a dog, or a cat, a chicken, a mouse, or even a bat. One morning while riding along on my horse, I heard a slight noise and I spotted the source. A big cow moose came close into view and I flipped up my rope and a caught her too. Now if ever there came a time in my past to ponder the wisdom of tied hard and fast, I think of the time I took this lesson to heart of the quickness I handled the lack of the smart. My hand was ready but my brain was relaxed. When the moose hit the end, it was like getting poleaxed, I horse jerked. Then off through the brush to the lumbering gate went the moose packing me at a fast moving pace. We were crashing through trees with my chattel intact till I heard a loud, hit a large tree and I heard a loud crack. The horn snapped off of my saddle, of course, but the saddle was still attached to my horse. I think you're gonna have to read most of it. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. And it would have given me time, too. <laughs> we'll try it better on the next one. This is a poem written later in the 50s, in the beginning of the 60s, in the Minburn area, tied hard and fast. A group of us met one morning at dawn to go checking cattle and carrying on. The weather was great with the grass on the way as we wandered along, enjoying the day. A group of us youngsters was Herb Gordon Don, with, along with myself, my handle is Ron. Herb was mounted on a big buckskin horse that was known to be quick and though kind of coarse. His saddle at A class with a bronc busting tree, his rope was nylon tied not to come free. He often remarked, in days of the past, my rope is ready and tied hard and fast. We spotted a critter now just standing alone. When she spotted us, she sure set the tone. She said, took off her running and limping a lot. We knew we were looking at a case of foot rot. Now, treating that cow was the first thing to do. With our lariats swinging and a yahoo, we took after that cow with Herb in the lead. But slid to a stop. The cow hit the end, the lariat screamed and started to send a message to all that something had to give of the cow and the horse and the man were to live. Then the cinch let plumb loose and over Buck's head came Herb in the saddle and acting a wreck. Behind that old cow in a following rush came Herb in the saddle, a mowing wreck brush. We slid, slid and he bounced nearly till he met with a tree and that stopped that old dogie now waiting for me. He fastened a loop which he dabbed on her hocks while Herb was recouping for the school of hard knocks. He dallied her around the torn chase of the three of her choosing, we all knew that this battle she is losing. We treated her fast. <laughs> Herb patched up his cinch and we're all heading home when we're thinking about what I was thinking about writing this poem. The question they're asking was finally asked. Now is it really that hard, that wise to be hurt, tied hard and fast? This one was in the mountains when I was uh, working at the logging camp at the same time. It's a grizz on the trail. Riding alone on a narrow goat trail, 
On the side of a mountain where rocks prevail, the trail was narrow with a hundred foot drop on the near horse side as I'm nearing the top. Around a sharp bend, I come face to face with a grizzly bear who halted my pace. My horse was shaken, not the only one scared. I had no experience and wasn't prepared. The grizz was standing so dangerously near, no room to turn round as the cold sweat of fear ran down my back and gave me a chill as my hoss was saying, get off on this hill. He was dancing and shaking and showing his fear. And both of us thought that the end was so near that Grizz was just standing, as cool as could be, like a statue left there carved from a tree. Then taking his time, he dropped down on all fours and turned as the sweat eased out of my pores. He ambled on up and went out of sight while I sat there in shock. I'd had a great fright. My hoss settled down with that instinct of ease while I shook like an aspen leaf in the trees. That story I told in many reports, but left out the need for cleaning my shorts. <laughs> That's my cowboy poetry. I uh, kind of loused up on it. I've never done this at a certain time. And, uh, but it does speed me up. I think I, if I live long enough, I'll probably learn. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>